I'm so excited for today because I'm finally doing another fab or fail foundation wear test and review for you. And this is ultimately going to be also a first impression. So the foundation that I'm going to be trying for you guys today is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Now I was shopping at my local Walgreens. I was actually there to buy some other stuff. I was looking in particular for the CYO Foundation, which I will be reviewing for you guys as well on a future video, so stay tuned for that. But as I was shopping, I saw this, and this was throwing me OG vibes from like, I don't even know, 12, 13, 14 years ago. I used to only wear the original L'Oreal Infallible, the one that looked like this in this pump. I do think that it had more of a bright red top to it though, and it wasn't um, fresh wear, but when I saw this, it reminded me so much of that that I had to pick it up. And I'm hoping that this is like the OG one that I used to absolutely love and adore. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this foundation performs, how it applies, just keep on watching. So let me tell you guys a little bit about this foundation. So this is a 24 hour fresh wear foundation, which is a medium to full buildable coverage. It also says that it's a long lasting foundation with the most lightweight breathable texture, which I absolutely love. I love when a foundation has more of a natural finish to it. it also says that it's waterproof transfer resistant and sweat resistant foundation. It is extremely hard to find a waterproof foundation. I have searched high and low. I have several that I'm gonna be talking about soon on my channel, um, but there's just not that many true waterproof foundations out there. So I was really excited that I read that this is a waterproof foundation. Now, it doesn't necessarily say that it's waterproof on the bottle. So when I bought it, I actually didn't know that it was waterproof. But um, I'm really happy that it does say that this is waterproof and I'm actually going to be proving that out later. I plan on going to the gym at some point and then at the end of this video, on my final check-in, I'm probably going to dunk my face in a bowl of water to really prove whether or not that this is a true waterproof foundation. So it also has SPF 25. So a lot of times when there is SPF in a foundation, it creates that white cast flashback with flash photography. So I do avoid getting foundations with SPF. Although I like to be protected in the sun, um, I could do that by applying a moisturizer that has SPF in it. So we'll see, I'll do some flash photography and see how that goes with this particular foundation. So the color that I ended up picking up is 470 Radiant Honey. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a great match, but if I'm looking at like my chest area, which I do have like a little hint of a sunless tan left behind, it does look like it is a pretty decent match. As usual with all of my foundation reviews, I am doing one side of my face with a beauty blender and the other side of my face with my Sonia Kashuk flat top foundation brush. Um, I do prefer this method normally when applying foundation just because it's a lot faster to use this than a beauty blender and a lot of times I'll use this and I'll pounce the beauty blender on top. But for the sake of the video, I know a lot of people love using just strictly a beauty blender, so I'm gonna use both. Also, for your reference, I do have more normal skin. Um, in the summertime, it might be more normal to combo skin. I do get a little bit oily in the forehead area in the summer, warmer months, but normally my skin is kind of straight in the middle. It's not overly dry and it's not overly oily. It's basically normal, whatever the heck that means in the skin world. So this is what it looks like pumped on my hand and it is definitely a very liquidy formula. It is kind of sliding down my hand as you can see, um, which is I think the same type of formula as the old school L'Oreal Infallible. I'm gonna start with uh, the side with the flat top foundation brush 
first. Now, I didn't apply any primer today only because I did moisturize my skin and I don't know, I just didn't, I skipped that step. I just didn't wanna do the primer. So we're gonna really test this out to see how well this foundation performs all on its own. As far as the color goes, I definitely think that that is a really, really good match for me. Wow, you guys, I am really, really enjoying the coverage of this foundation and it is a little bit streaky, I will say, using my foundation brush. I could definitely fix that by using my beauty blender. And now I'm gonna move on to this side of my face using the beauty blender. So the side of my face that I use the Beauty Blender, I didn't get as much coverage as I did on the side where I used the foundation brush. Um, but I'm gonna try to build this up with one more layer. So it's definitely buildable with both the Beauty Blender and the foundation brush. I actually think I like how it turned up more on this side with the Beauty Blender just because I don't have the streakiness that I have on this side. But I'm gonna go back over and I'm going to just pounce my Beauty Blender on top to get rid of all those little streaks. So one thing I will note while I'm waiting for the foundation to dry down is the price. Um, the price of this foundation, at least when I picked it up at Walgreens, this was $15. Now for a drugstore foundation, that is probably on the higher price point. Um, most drugstore foundations are in between eight and $12. So at $15, that was actually kind of a surprise, but if it is a great foundation and if it really does prove out to be a waterproof, sweat resistant, transfer resistant foundation, then I think at 15 bucks, it's actually a great price. Now it has been about a minute to a minute and a half and the foundation is feeling like still a little bit tacky, not sticky at all, just a little bit on the dewy side. I don't know how long this foundation takes to fully dry down, but the finish that it's giving me is a beautiful finish. Like I do feel like I have a very natural, radiant kind of glowiness to the skin. It's not super dewy, but it's definitely not like a full on matte. Now the foundation on my hand is a little bit drier and it still has like a nice sheen to it, although it is a little bit matte as well. So it is definitely like a perfect medium between like a dewy, radiant foundation and a fully matte foundation, which I absolutely love. That is like right up my alley. All my favorite foundations basically are like a very natural finished foundation. I basically wanna look like me, but I want to have my skin look like it's a little bit illuminated, a little glowy, uh, if you know what I mean, without being greasy or transferring or sliding down my face. It also did a really nice job covering up some imperfections. I do have a lot of redness on my cheek area, broken capillaries, and around my nose. It covered those up wonderfully. So those are completely gone. You can't see those. I also had one little breakout here that is also fully covered up. So, so far, so good, you guys. 
So I'm gonna be using the same standard products that I always use in all of my foundation reviews. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes and I'm gonna be setting that with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then I'm gonna dust a little bit of my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder on top. So I just put a little concealer underneath my eyes and yeah, it's definitely not drying down completely. It does feel a little bit on the not wet side, but a little bit on the dewy side. So it's definitely not like mattifying. It's not, it doesn't appear to be a foundation that's gonna be like a very matte foundation, which I really do like, because again, it gives that little, you know, glowy sheen to the skin, which I absolutely love. And I'm sure after I set my face with setting powder, it's probably going to matte it down just a little bit. So I'm gonna do very minimal makeup today. I'm just feeling like kind of like a down low type of day today. I'm also gonna be going to the gym later, so I don't want uh, full glam at the gym. But I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna complete my makeup, and then I'm gonna come back to you before I do my first official check-in later on in the day. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so I did just finish up my makeup. I did hit my face with a little bit of the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. And I have to say, you guys, I think that this foundation looks stunning on the skin. It is very natural. I didn't do heavy glam makeup today. Um, actually, five out of the seven days of the week, this is like my go-to makeup. I really try to keep it minimal. Um, I only put a little bit of highlighter on my eyelids. I put a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of blush, and a little highlighter here, and then lips. And that's basically it. So I'm really loving, I'm loving, I'm loving how this looks right now. But we're gonna see by the end of the day how this, uh, this plays out and if this foundation holds up. I mean, it claims to be 24 hour wear, so I'm expecting this to be good by the eight or nine or 10 hour mark at least. Do a little experiment here. And I'm gonna take a white napkin and I'm gonna kind of press it on my hand pretty firmly and see if we get any rub off, any transfer. You guys, I don't see, literally I see no foundation at all. And I was pressing really firm. Let me do that again. I'm pressing really, really firm. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't see anything on this napkin whatsoever. I am shook right now. I'm like really, really shook. So I am, I'm really excited right now. So I'm gonna go on with the rest of my day. I'm gonna be checking in throughout the day and at the very, very end of the day. I'm gonna give you guys at least an eight hour wear test out of this. And at the end of the night, I'm actually going to put my entire face in a bowl of water. All right, you guys, I will catch you guys in just a few short seconds in your world. Hey guys, so I'm standing in front of this huge window. So I'm directly in front of all this natural light and I just wanted to show you what this foundation looks like in natural light, no beauty lights or anything like that. And I am really, really loving the finish of this foundation. I think it is very natural. It looks so good on the skin. It's not, it's not dry at all. It's not super matte. Um, I did set my face obviously with powder and uh, it just looks so good. I really, really like the finish of this foundation. I'm gonna also be doing some flash photography later on so that way we can see if this is a flash photography safe foundation because there is SPF which I'm thinking may cause some issues with flash photography but um, we're gonna test that out. So I'll see you guys soon. All right. It has been about four hours. I am so impressed with this foundation. I mean, for a drugstore foundation to perform this well, this is so exciting. I have not oiled up. I'm not an oil slick. I have a little bit of like a sheen to my forehead, which is typical, but nothing that is, you know, overwhelming or too shiny. The crease in my forehead, the stuff is holding together in that area. That is like a testing area for all foundations that I try. Um, I am shocked that this foundation has not settled in to that crease or separated. 
it looks just as good as it did when I applied my foundation four hours ago. The cheeks look so good. It is a little bit more matte than right after application, so I think it took some time for the foundation to fully dry down, but it is a matte that is comfortable. It looks amazing. I'm really impressed. I'm loving this foundation. I, I'm excited. So this definitely is making me remember back when I used to use the L'Oreal Infallible in the original pump that I was in love with. And I it broke my heart when they discontinued it. Like my heart literally shattered in a million pieces because I, I didn't know what to use after that. I mean, it was so hard to find a new foundation. So I'm super excited right now. I'm loving everything about it. Um, I'm not getting any cracking or separating above my lip. My eyes don't look crepey or tired or, you know, like sometimes foundations, especially in this eye area, dry my under eye area so much that it makes me look older and I get like this crepiness to the skin underneath my eyes, which isn't really noticeable until I use a foundation that just doesn't work well in this area. And it is just looking so good, you guys. I'm loving the cheek area. Nothing is transferring. Like if I touch my skin, it is staying perfectly intact. I mean, I am so shook right now at how much I'm enjoying this foundation. I'm gonna go get ready for the gym and go to the gym and I'm gonna check in with you afterwards to see how this foundation did under pressure, under sweat and pressure and heat and all of that. So I'll check in with you guys in just a few short seconds. See you guys soon. Hey you guys, so it's been six hours and I just came back from the gym right now. I didn't sweat a ton, but I had a pretty decent workout. I am loving this foundation. This foundation is literally amazing. It is not breaking apart at all. And I was sweating, I just wasn't like profusely sweating, so, but I was sweating. I had sweat on my nose, on my forehead, and this foundation is completely intact still. I am, a little bit shocked at how good this foundation is. I am just in like foundation heaven right now. So at the end of the night, I am going to dunk my face in a bowl of water to really test how waterproof this foundation is. But so far, its claims of being sweat proof, I, I'm shook. It is, it's definitely sweat proof. I don't have any areas where the foundation has rubbed off or is missing. Even as I look at my nose, my nose is like fully intact. Like I have no places where my skin is peeking through. I am really impressed with this, you guys. So, all right, hang tight, I'll be back. I'm gonna go eat something and chill out for just a little bit and then I'm gonna do my final check-in soon. All right, see you guys. Hey guys, so it is the final check-in of the night. It has been nine hours with the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation. Um, I am noticing that I am oiling up a little bit more in the forehead area, but nine hours, this foundation is performing so well. It is held up so, so well. I mean, my cheeks still look really, really good. I have no lift off. I have no bunching or dragging or sliding on my face. Even in this area where, you know, I have oiled up a little bit more, it's still really, really on, like it's there. So I'm still, it's still holding strong in the crease. It's not sliding down my forehead. Now the final test of the day is to dunk my face in this bowl of water because we really want to see if this is truly waterproof like it says it is. So I'm going to do that right now. <sighs> yeah, now I'm awake. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to sleep now. So I'm going to leave this water on my face and I'm going to give it maybe about 30 seconds to a minute, and then I am going to see 
if this foundation doesn't really budge with water dripping down my face. So as I kind of rub it just to see if it transfers, there is a little bit of foundation picking up, but it's, it's still there. I mean, I don't have foundation sliding down my face, even dripping wet. So I definitely think that this is truly a waterproof, water resistant, sweat resistant, 24 hour, I'm not proving that out tonight because I'm gonna wash my face, but wow. Really good foundation. Definitely love this foundation. This might be a new holy grail for me. Um, I've reviewed the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, which is a foundation that I absolutely adore. And actually, that was the foundation that kind of took the place of this one when it was discontinued so many years ago. Um, I'm really loving this stuff. I think that this is going to be definitely on my vanity from now on. I'm going to be reaching for this quite a bit because I am so, so impressed by it. So I give this foundation from a one to 10. I'm giving this a nine and a half, 10. I'm really impressed with this foundation. I think for a drugstore foundation, this is probably one of the best foundations I have tried. About the flash photography, I did do a couple of shots with my Canon Mark II, and that camera has a crazy bright flash on it. It is a challenge for most foundations because the flash is so, so bright, so it does give a lot of flash back in most um, scenarios with foundations. But I am gonna include pictures here and here. This is with my iPhone, um, with the flash from my iPhone. I did get a tiny bit of flashback, but really not anything as, you know, totally white out condition as I was expecting with an SPF level of 25 in this foundation. With my Canon, it definitely gave me more flashback, but it is a bright flash, like I was saying. Um, but I would still definitely recommend this foundation, even with that, um, especially the fact that it's waterproof. I would expect to probably wear this if I was by the pool or out in the sun. And so having a little bit of SPF actually isn't that bad. And in those situations, you're probably not gonna be using your flash for any of the pictures that you take. And so I give this two really big thumbs up. All right, you guys, love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me two big thumbs up so I know that you did. And comment below, tell me what you thought. Have you tried this foundation? Do you like it? And if you wanna see more foundation reviews just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and hit the bell so you're notified when I post a new video. I am uploading about once a week for my fab or fail foundation wear test series. So I love you guys. I'm gonna go hit the sack. I'm super duper tired and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.